Regional cricket has been the sport to unite the Caribbean and effect change as it garnered global prominence. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell believes West Indies cricket needs to again lead the charge in addressing issues of climate change. Noting Sir Frank Warrior's legacy of championing regionalism and recognizing the socio-cultural importance of the sport of cricket, Dr. Mitchell says such methods should be used to advocate for climate change which affects us as a people. Much the same way that sport was instrumental in raising the alarm about discrimination, racism, apartheid, human rights violations, and environmental degradation, so too sport can be used to sound a clarion call for the need to address the climate crisis that is threatening our own existence. To use cricket as one of the vehicles to advance our work towards the fight against the impact of climate change requires a concerted effort to address the current crisis in West Indies cricket that affects its prominence. The Prime Minister says the leadership exemplified by Sir Frank must now be emulated with respect to West Indies cricket and climate change. Historically, the West Indies cricket team has demonstrated an uncanny ability to triumph against the odds. Being the underdog sometimes, they have consistently punched above their weight. Here now is an opportunity for us as underdogs in this war on climate change to bring the same fight to this particular crisis that threatens our existence. Our lives depend on it, as well as the future of our children and our grandchildren. The impact of climate change, such as extreme weather events, flooding, sea level rise, drought, and bushfires, affects both lives and livelihoods. Dr. Mitchell, highlighting that sport has not been spared by the impact of climate change, is calling on various sporting governing bodies to consider signing on to the Sports for Climate Action Initiative of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.